Hey everyone, it's John from Evolve. Thanks for watching. Hey, we wanted to today talk about lift gate fit problems with Model Y, a common problem. Take a look at this one here. Maybe you've seen this on your own vehicle or maybe you've seen it in the past, but common issue with this lift gate pushing out on the passenger side with a bad fit. So we're gonna go inside and take a look. Here we've got a new Model Y that was in a pretty substantial accident and a lot of the back end of this vehicle was replaced, but we'll take a peek. And what you may see on Model Y is mostly on the driver's side is a poor fit right here. Now we've got a pretty good fit if we look at these seams here. And then if we come down and we look at these seams here, we've got a pretty good gate fit. Now it's the same fit on the other side, but Commonly, what you're going to see is this lifted up, and sometimes this comes way back. Um, we see it every week or two. Someone comes in with a complaint about it. Now, these are on cars that have never been in an accident before. So let me show you what's happening here. If you have some of these issues yourself and some of these concerns, and we'll take a look at the hinge assembly. So here's the powered strut on a Model Y. It's only on the left-hand side. You can see the electric cable coming through to powers it. Other side is not a powered strut. It's just a standard gas strut that does have some tension in it, but this actually does the opening and the closing. Here's what's happening. There's so much pressure in this strut required to lift this heavy lift gate all the way and to also pull it down that when you get a nice fit on these without these struts and close it, it might look great. But when you do close it, there's so much tension in this. What's happening is that strut that's now compressed is literally forcing this lift gate that away. And nothing wrong with the strut, nothing wrong with that as a, a problem, that amount of force, but something else is going wrong that's allowing this to start to move. We'll go inside and take a look. Okay, so we'll take a look at a hinge on a Model Y lift gate. Now, what I can tell you is a Model Y Tesla is up to, I believe, their fourth revision on these hinges. So it's understood that these problems happen and engineering is working to create solutions to this through new hinge design. But essentially, this hinge here bolts down through this roof panel, mounts on the underside here. So you've got two studs and two nuts, 13 millimeter nuts on the underside. And you've got this goofy little 10 millimeter bolt that takes the top of that hinge and pulls it back in. And it, you have to have the headliner out to access the back of it. So commonly, if you look at that, not a lot of strength in there. Commonly what's happening is this strut assembly here is pushing this lift gate that away and drawing this hinge back. So the common fix for this is you may replace the hinge. Sometimes it gets bent. You may just have to undo everything here and reposition this hinge to capture this. Sometimes, however, it'll actually bend. It's so strong it'll bend this mounting point and bend this mounting point, which then also throws the gate out of whack. So, if you have this condition with your Model Y, you could probably fix it yourself. The recommendation is remove both struts. I'll preface that. You've got to have a little mechanical aptitude, but you can remove both of these struts. If you want to take any of the rubber stoppers, we can see some here and here and here and here that hold the lift gate in position. You also want to remove either the striker or the latch assembly itself so that when you close that lift gate, there's nothing pushing, pulling, forcing it in any direction. And then you can get up in here with a 13 millimeter and a 10 millimeter socket and reposition those hinges. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions about Model Y lift gate fit, or if you have this problem in yourself, you need help, don't hesitate to call us at Evolve. Otherwise, any questions you may have, please leave in the comments below. We'll be sure to answer on our monthly podcast. Thanks for watching.